Hey guys, it is Michelle. It has been forever. Okay, I'm gonna get myself comfy. I know it's been forever since we've done a live feed. It's freezing. We had a little bit of a snowstorm that I wasn't expecting. So we have that going for us. And I'm um, freezing, so I'm wearing my nice comfy robe. We're gonna wait a few minutes, give you guys a chance to log on. And um, we'll talk some empty items. We'll talk about what's been going on. Lots to catch up on. And I'm sitting on this thing, which is like not the most fun thing to do. So, okay, I think we're all comfy now. But um, I'm sorry guys that I've been MIA for the past couple of weeks. I normally I try doing one of these. <clears throat> okay, dry throat. <coughs> Hang on a sec. I normally try doing a live feed every week. Past two weeks, I haven't done so and I apologize for that. So, let me explain why. Um, to start things off, I've started my college course, which has been going really well so far. Um, out of the two quizzes I've taken so far, I've gotten hundreds on both, which is amazing. Very um, happy about that. Also, not lastly, but the week before, I had a super, super bad sinus infection. It really knocked me for a loop, guys. My head was so clogged up and sore. This sinus infection was so bad that it actually blurred my vision. I couldn't see for a little over a week. I was scared to death. Um, I was petrified. So I got antibiotics and everything like that, and that put me on the right path. My eyesight's back, obviously. Uh, but it was scary. I've had sinus infections before, but nothing like that. So that took me for a loop. And I was just so worn out from it. So I do apologize, guys, that I've been away for so, so long. Um, again, it just, I feel horrible about it. And because of the sinus infection, I know a ton of you have sent things through my Amazon wish list. I have started filming a lot of them. I did some more filming yesterday. Um, but I still have some more things to go through, and they will be up soon so i do apologize i thank everybody who has been kind enough to send such beautiful and wonderful gifts it's truly appreciated i don't want you guys to think it hasn't because the videos haven't been up i just have been sick and i've been doing school as well so between that combination it was like the worst time to get sick it was literally my first week back in college and boom worst sinus infection of my life it was horrible but life goes on and those videos will be up within the next few weeks. I, As I'm wearing the hosiery that you guys have sent, because there's tons, I've been doing the videos on them, um, keeping the packaging. So a lot of the packages do not have names from who they're from, but I've been holding the packages up in the videos for the unboxings. Hello, Jenny, how are you? And um, so when I, as I'm filming the videos with the outfits, I'll show you this is the packaging. I believe it came from this person. So those videos will be up. Like I said, from being sick, I'm so far behind with the lovely gifts that you have sent. So um, I am catching up on them. And again, I don't want you to think that I don't appreciate you guys. I love you guys. And it's killed me not to film live for so long, but I'm glad that we're able to do so now. But I did say that we were also going to do an empty items video. So the empty items have stacked up, guys. So we're just going to get into it because they are overflowing. And I don't know if people actually still watch these videos. I love watching empty items videos. I feel like I'm the only one on YouTube that still does these. I don't know, but I love it. So we're gonna get started. First thing we've used up is this Marilyn Monroe hand soap in White Blossom. I love this stuff. As far as quality, it is not comparable to the Bath and Body Work ones, but it's not a bad one. Oh, thank you, Jenny. I will be doing more of those soon. It's been so crazy lately with so many things going on. Um, but I will be doing that very, very soon. Um, I want to do it within the next couple of weeks. We'll see. Hopefully with the weather getting warmer, I can film outside more. I love filming outside, especially with my fashion videos. I've been getting a lot of weird comments about filming in the hallway that I normally film in. And um, I don't know why. Okay, so I, we'll address this really quickly here. Because for... I don't know why all of a sudden there's a lot of negativity about the hallway that I typically film the videos in in the winter time. Now, for those of you who've been here for any period of time, you know that that I, that's where I normally film during the winter time because it's freezing, it's muddy, it's icy, and I just can't film properly outside during the winter time where I live. It just is. The house that I live in was my grandfather's, 
After he passed, the place went into an estate, which the estate is still standing. So because of that, I'm very limited with what I can and cannot do with the building. Oh, thank you, Jenny. Um, so because of that, I mean, trust me, I do not like the way the hallway looks at all. I hate the carpet. I hate that ugly wallpaper. I hear you guys. I hear you. I agree with you. But I can't do anything about it currently until legally everything has been taken care of. So it is what it is. I would love more than anything to get rid of wood paneling. I would love more than anything to put a beautiful new carpet in there. I would love more than anything to take down that horrible 70s wallpaper. But I can't. And that is what it is. But um, so that's, we're going to move on from there as far as that goes. Um, but the, um, I like that hallway because I can set my lighting up in there and, um, it's long enough where I can do the walk and stuff still, but I cannot, um, as of right now, I can't, uh, do anything with the hallway as far as like painting it or making it look the way I want it to, because I am being held back from that. I would, that's actually not a bad idea. I would have to move some furniture around, but I probably could film in, in my room. Um, unfortunately, it has the same ugly um, carpeting, but my bedroom definitely is um, better as far as in terms of, like, the walls and stuff like that. That's a great idea. Um, but, yeah, let's continue onward, because I think I'm boring some of you guys with this. Um, but, anyway, so um, we have this beautiful soap I don't know the name of the company that makes these. I've seen these in so many different patterns and scents, but I do love the Marilyn Monroe collection. There's four scents in her collection, this one being the White Blossom, which is very florally. I really can't describe it. It's very antique scented, if that makes sense to you. But there's this one, a lavender, a rose, and a champagne, and I love all of them. Um, and they're not bad. They're not Bath and Body Works quality. But it's not a bad soap at all, but I do love it. This one, however, this little spring and this kind of broke. But other than that, it's a great soap. Next thing I used up are these five-piece novelty guest show soaps. <laughs> this was in the scent Gardenia. And these were little duckies. I got them at the Christmas tree shop for $1.99 years ago. And I originally bought them to like decorate, like put a little like get a little bathtub. Hello, how are you? Um, but I never found that little cute bathtub thing to put them in and the plastic they were getting in kind of was getting old and like cloudy. So I was like, why am I keeping soap to decorate with? That's kind of a weird concept, even thinking about it now. I know that's what old timers did with these shaped soaps. So I just used it up finally. And the gardenia scent wasn't that great to be honest with you, but for $1.99, they were good little hand soaps, you know? Next thing that was used up. This was a gift for Christmas from a friend of mine, and these were amazing. These were grapefruit scented bath bombs or bath fizzies. They had some herbs in them, which was really, really nice. They smelt clean and divine. You know your girl's love for anything bath related. This was a win. I absolutely adored it. I got a lot of used up items here, guys. Like this basket is full. Oh my goodness. It's been a busy month for empties. Now I do have um, till the end of the month for my pa project pan that I was working on. You guys saw me do that live video a few months back. I gave us a few months to project pan. And uh, I did pretty good with the exception of a couple things which we'll talk about when we get to the project pan video. Um, the next thing I used up was this lotion by Cetaphil. This was given me by my mom to try out. It's not a bad lotion. It has no scent. I don't hate the Cetaphil line. I use the cleanser. I don't... For me, I don't see any, like, wow factor. Like, it, I don't notice my skin super clean. I don't notice super moisture. It's just good, if that makes sense. Like, if you don't know what else to get, this stuff works. I do know that dermatologists recommend this up the wazoo. And that's got a great cult following behind it. Hello, Peter. How are you? Um, but it's not a bad product. I don't know if I would go out of my way to purchase this. Mom gave it to me to try. Wasn't bad, but... There's other lotions that I use that I like way better. Next, this is my little like sandwich bag. This was the Butter Bear Bath Bomb from Lush. It's a little, it's the Butter Ball Bath Bomb, but it looks like a little bear. It's super sweet and scented. It's got this lovely 
soft smell to it and it's got um it's got like bath melt in it so it makes the water a little like a little oily does that make sense to moisturize that sounds gross i know but it adds this oil to it or this moisturizer to it um makes your skin extra soft which is really nice i like that one this i just used today actually this is the pantene intense rescue shot i actually got this in my last walmart beauty box and um it's a nice size it's a one-time use it's supposed to have an intense damage my hair smells great from it it's still drying it it takes all day to dry not gonna lie but it's definitely soft and silky i definitely do feel a difference in my hair from using it um so that's not bad but i do use other products i really need to okay my girls out there or guys whoever um you guys need to let me know what products you use for your hair because i have noticed hello how are you I have noticed that when I, the products I've been using my hair, there has been buildup and it's driving me insane. So I need to find products that don't create such nasty buildup. That's what I need to work on next. But we'll finish these empties and we'll talk more because I got so much to tell you guys. I really do. And I miss you all so, so much. You have no idea. It's been crazy. But anyway, let's finish the empties and we'll have some talk time. Like one-on-one. -on -one. We like this. Um, the next thing I used up is this candle. It's called Italy. This is from Bath and Body Works, and this is cannoli and chocolate. Oh, one of my dreams is to visit Italy. One day it'll happen. Well, now the candle smells like burnt wax, which is the only bad thing I don't like about Bath and Body Works candles. Once they get towards the end, they get this burnt wax smell. But before we got to that point at the bottom of the candle, this has such a beautiful, sweet chocolate scent. I wouldn't necessarily say that I can smell cannoli, but definitely a creamy chocolate scent. That's probably where you're getting the cannoli from, is the cream from the cannoli. Um, but really, really nicely scented. This was great. I have another one from this collection, I believe, that I haven't burned yet. That was awesome. Um, the next one is Crisp Fall Air from Yankee Candle. I like this side. These are great for like the bathroom and the bedroom. This was in the bedroom. This one reminds me of Midsummer's Night. It's very similar. It's got a cologne scent. Although the last time I went to Yankee Candle, I didn't see that one. So I don't know if they discontinued it. I can't see them discontinuing that particular scent because of how popular it was. I could be wrong, though. But um, I used to buy that one. But the problem with that one, I like it, but it's extremely strongly scented. So it can give a headache if you burn it for too long. But this one is nice. It's cologne but it's got like an aqua scent to it. Oh, okay. Good to know. I've never been to Italy. It's definitely on my wish list. Um, the art and Greece. I'd love to see Greece too. Oh, just has my heart. So the next few things are just these little hotels. So if you guys know that I will take them, whatever extras home with me. And I've used them up. I only got like three left to use. And then I'm clean out. Um, which is good. So these are from like different travels. Yes, Starman, it's been a while. I know. Um, once we finish with the empties, we're definitely going to talk about where I've been. Because there's some story behind it. And it's nothing perfect. I missed you guys all so much. I really did. I'm so glad to be able to talk to you guys. Missed you all so much. There's only a few more items. So then we'll get into talking some more because i want to make sure that everybody's here and we can all talk because uh, when i first started trying to talk about it in the beginning of the video i had just posted oh we're gonna be up soon so not that many people were on yet so um the next thing i used up this came from i think this was a ulta box like you get you spent certain amount of money and they gave you a bag full of like goodies to try out it was either ulta or sephora that i got this from this is murad this is age reform nutrient charged water gel i know a lot of people love murad this is the first time i used it one of my favorite YouTubers, Graveyard Girl, uses it. Well, Murad, not necessarily. I don't know what product she used. I know she mentions Murad. It smelled great. Um, it did feel nice on my skin. I don't know if it made a huge difference. Um, I would definitely try this product again because it definitely did feel more... I did feel moisturized, and the stuff I'm using now, definitely not on the same way. I'm using Pons, P O N. DS you find it like Walmart stuff like that. I know it's not the best quality. I get it guys I don't know what else to get right now. So I got that in the meanwhile I'll probably go back to Murad if I don't get any recommendation. Let me know down below what you guys use for your moisturizers. Love to know Next thing I used up is this 
This is Strawberry Fusion Bath Pearls. Those are little round ball things. Um, you know I love those little bath pearl things. So this was in Strawberry Fusion, which is basically strawberry raspberries. It had a beautiful scent. There was 40 of these. It took me forever to use this up. Um, but I love it. It's definitely... Oh, it smells great. It doesn't have that fake strawberry scent. You can almost smell like... This is going to sound weird, like the greens and like the, the seeds on the strawberries. Really good. This came from TJ Maxx. I paid 5 bucks for it for 40 of them, which is good because... When I go to Woodstock, New York, that shop I used to get mine from doesn't carry them anymore. Uh, well, it didn't really have much to do with family this time. Why it stopped. It had nothing really to do with that. I was sick. But we'll talk about that in a minute. Because I felt so bad. And I really did want to do the live feeds with you guys. I just, I couldn't. I was so ill. We'll talk about that in a minute when we're done. Showing there's only like five items left. And then we'll talk more about that. And, uh, yeah. So let's do it. Next thing is, this is Crisp Morning Air. This is from Bath & Body Works. This is the scent bug or the wallflower. They don't make scent bugs anymore. And this one's really, it's very similar actually to the Yankee Candle one, which is really bizarre to me. Very fresh, very aquatic. I do like clean aquatic scents. I guess maybe that's because I love the ocean. Who knows? But um, that's definitely one of them. Next, I used up this Waikiki Beach Coconut, which is funny. I just got coupons in the mail today from Bath & Body Works, and Waikiki Coconut is back. It's very creamy. It almost feels like palm is in here. Passion fruit. Fresh bamboo. Oh, I was close. Your girl snouts almost. I hate it when people like smell things like, I'm so bad with scents. Then why are you trying to pretend like you can tell us what a scent is? So this is coconutty. Um, golden beaches. Tropical blooms. Salt water breeze. Yes. I'm looking forward to more of that. This I had on my desk. These were from the dollar store. You guys know I got like a ton of these things. But they're so good. If you find them at Dollar Tree, totally get them. They're worth it. Used her all up. And they're so cute on the desk too. Um, the pear one smells like, the best way for me to describe it, it's like a less acidic apple. And I guess that's kind of what a pear is in the first place. Because um, to me, pears taste similar to apples. I probably sound really stupid right now. But they, to me, it's like just less acidy. Like you still get that nice sweetness. But... I think they're similar in taste to an apple. Some people may think that that is horrific to say, but I think it's true. So that's just how I go. Next is the Winter Candy Apple Shower Gel from Bath & Body Works. These I use. Oh, thank you so much, Starman. That was one of my favorite outfits too, as well. Um, I use this as a bubble bath because they're, I love the shower gels for bubble bath. The shower gel, when I use the shower gel, can sometimes dry out my skin. But I love the scent of it. It's just warm. It's got that warm apple scent. I think this one has orange in it, if I'm not mistaken. Red apple, winter rose petal, candied orange, maple leaf, and fresh cinnamon. See, I love apple and I love roses. So, oh, it speaks to my soul. It's really good. This is obviously part of the Christmas collection. It's not available right now. I'm sure you can find somebody on eBay who sells it. Um, next is this Wet n Wild Lash Renegade Mascara. You know, I didn't have high hopes for this one when I tried it, but I could see why it's their best selling from that brand. It's actually really good. I was really impressed with it, to be honest with you. It's got a decent little brush. I would totally go back and buy this again. Um, it's worth the price. Wet n Wild. Don't knock Wet n Wild. Like, I know it's like everybody's first makeup. My first makeup actually came from Wet n Wild when I was young. And um, it's not bad. Some of their products are not the greatest, but that's like that with high-end companies as well. Um, Wet n Wild will surprise you sometimes. And I would say this mascara definitely surprised me. I would totally buy this again. I think it's in the $4 range. It was on sale that one, so I paid less than that. Next, I used up another one of my Marcel waters. You know I love this stuff, guys, to take off my makeup. It's amazing. They have matte finish and sensitive skin one now as well. I just get the regular. Um, it's amazing. It doesn't hurt your eyes or anything like that. Um, I also do use makeup wipes when I have like a full face of makeup on and I need something a little bit more. But the micelle water works amazing. I can't complain. Last but certainly not least for our empties is this Pantene Conditioning Repair and Protect. I use this all the time. My hair is very thick and it knots easy. If I do not have a spraying conditioner, I cannot get a brush or a comb through it. It's a mess. So I use up another one of these. Always have a backup of this because I can't live without a spraying conditioner. Um... This is the only one that I know that they make, besides Johnson & Johnson's. But if you have one that you use and you love that's better, 
let your girl know. I'm always looking for new. Okay, guys. So, that goes all in the baggie. Let's talk. So, as you guys know, I haven't done a live feed in about two weeks. Now, I started my college course, which was kind of part of it, but not really. So, I started that. I um, aced my last two quizzes. I got 100 on both, so I'm very excited about that. Yay. Um, but the other reason was, and I was scared to death. So, I thought it was eye strain from computer, but it, it was not. My eyes were blurry. I had a lot of pain and pressure up in here, and I was losing my eyesight. I was also losing my mind because of this. Like, the thought of losing your eyes. Until something like this happens, you really do take for granted. I mean, I've said this about other things. This experience definitely made me really appreciate that a whole lot more. Um, I had, it turned out to be an extremely bad sinus infection that was blurring my vision. I didn't know that could happen, but apparently it can, guys. And the pain was so bad. Like, oh my God, I can't even tell you how bad, like up in here, I was so sensitive to everything. I couldn't function. I couldn't do things I do every day. Like going to work and working on a computer was hard and it took everything out of me because I'd walk on the computer, try to calm my eyes down and stuff like that. It was so hard when I finally went to urgent care because when I finally just realized I had a problem, it was on a Sunday. Doctor's offices are closed on Sunday. So they checked everything and all that jazz. And like, oh, you have a bad sinus infection. Like, oh, I was really puffy up under my eyes, which I hadn't noticed really, oddly enough. But um, they got me on antibiotics. I am doing really well with my job. I absolutely love it. It's going super well now that I finally got the sinus infection cleared up. But it knocked me for a loop for over a week and a half. And I just couldn't. Like, the, that day when I went to the, to the emergency room, I was going to sit down and film, but I just couldn't. And I couldn't concentrate. I couldn't get comfortable. Like, I was panicking from it. And Joe was like, you, we need to bring you to see somebody because this isn't normal for you. And once I got the diagnosis, I was like, oh, thank God, because I was so scared. Like I said, my vision was blurry. I couldn't see more than two feet or three feet away from me, which was really scary. I was like, okay, what's going on? Why is this happening? I stopped using all makeup and anything that was on my face because I thought maybe it was a product I was using. I had no idea, but it was a very bad science infection that I must have ignored for a, a period of time for it to get to that point. I don't know. I didn't even realize it. It just, it just like came on really strong out of nowhere. I don't know why. I don't know where it came from. It just did. And I'm, this is literally like, I'd say two or three days ago is when I started to feel like myself again. Thank God. A little tired, but that happened, especially like today, daylight savings time happened, so we lost an hour. So I'm a little off today. Um, we had a snowstorm, a bad one this morning that I didn't realize. I, nobody talked about it. They're like, oh, little squabbles, not squabbles. Inches, inches. I'm like, great. So I did, I had made plans yesterday, and I normally go to church on Saturdays, but instead I was going to do it today, but it got canceled. I'm like, oh, well, that's great. Then I realized I was missing, like, half the things I needed for my house, and I had to go out in this mess. Oh, my goodness. But now we're home. It's cold. I got on my robe, which I normally fight the dog for. Um, she likes because it's really soft and fleecy. But. Anyway, to those of you who have sent items through my Amazon wish list, I want to thank you guys so, so much. I have started filming. A lot of these packages came amid sinus infection, and I just haven't had a chance to film. I have filmed some, uh, and they will be up shortly. So I don't think I don't appreciate what you guys have done. It blows me away. Honestly, when you guys made the request for me to do the, um, the Amazon wish list, uh, it took me forever to do it, and I was like, oh, well, you know, that's nice. I mean, maybe one or two. The overwhelming amount of things that have been sent, I, I'm i still blown away by it. Um, like, it, I, I can't believe I, you guys are way too kind and generous and sweet. You don't have to do that, but truly know that it's appreciated. Um, the videos are coming. Like I said, I did the unboxings. On everything except for two 
packages. One was by, I don't even know if you're watching Mike, Mike Thrill. Want them. I started filming yours, but I ran out of memory on the camera. So that the stuff that's on that memory card are actually downloading onto my computer right now. And then I will finish that later. And then there's another package from someone else. A lot of packages don't have little light things in them. Do I have a favorite work outfit? I go through rotations on my favorites. Um, they're like one or two like shirts that I really love. Hey, how are you? Um, there's like one or two shirts that I really love and skirts and like things I mix in. It's hard to pick a favorite though because I, I, I like all my clothes for the most part. Um, but yeah, so the videos are coming and as I do the outfits to go along, like the unboxings will be coming up probably first before you see some of the outfits. Um, and then the outfits, I've been keeping the packaging because a lot of the packages don't have names from people in here. Oh, and Mike, thank you. Like I said, I did film, um, part of yours, but the box is so big and I ran out of memory. I will be filming the next half, um, either today or tomorrow. So thank you so, so much. I really do appreciate it. You, you didn't have to do what you did, but I love it. I was blown away by what was in there when I first opened it during the first unboxing, but I ran out of memory and I couldn't finish that video. So that's downloading now. But, um, so the unboxing will be coming up first. The Alvis will be coming up behind. A lot of the packages didn't have your names on it. So if you are watching, guys, um, they are coming. I'm, I wasn't able to, um, if you're, if there was like a little message, like this is a gift, it's a little message. I do say your name on it. If you want me to, um, just let me know ahead of time. If you don't, you can always message me on Instagram or, um, Snapchat or any of the other Please on my Facebook page, whatever, and just let me know if you don't want me to say the name on the little thank you note. That's fine. Um, but I did do most of the unboxings, and now it's time for the outfits that I promised you guys. And that's going to take me a little bit longer. Like I said, I got so far behind with that sinus infection, it, it I just didn't film for a while. So I had um, my troll video that I filmed already, and I posted that up along with, I think there's like two other fashion videos that I did before I got sick. So I was able to put those up in the meanwhile, but uh, your girl has been knocked out, guys. It really knocked me for a loop. I can't tell you, but I'm so much better now. Tired, but better. Lots of running around and the doing the college has been, it's been a while since I've done any kind of course, especially um, online courses. The last time I did an online course, they were just becoming a thing. And I, I'm embarrassed to admit that now because it's like normal for people. But it was like a hybrid at the time where you did one day of class and the rest was done online and the program was not good at all. It was a very, very laggish program where this program that I'm dealing with now is such a dream to work with by pure comparison. And um, it's great. So it's really exciting. I'm really happy. I'm learning a lot. I have to go away Wednesday for more training, but um, it's all been really good. Everything's been a really positive experience as far as that goes. Sorry guys, this daylight savings time kicks my butt every flippin' time. Losing that hour kills me. I don't know why. It shouldn't affect me as bad as it does. But like, I feel like for like a week or two, everybody's kind of like sluggish at work. It's like, okay, give me the extra coffee. That extra hour really does kill you. I don't know why. Hmm. Although I prefer losing the hour because I know spring's coming. Even though I prefer sleeping the extra hour when fall's coming, it depresses me because I know so is winter. So this is a good sign. Just Let's just hope that that little groundhog was right and that the snow is going to be gone soon because I can't take much more of the snow. <sighs> My driveway right now, I can't. I can't right now. Like, I want to say less than a week ago we got this. I call This is not meant as an insult, so don't get anybody offended by this. I call it wet poopy snow and for you guys that aren't in areas that have snow and it's um it's wet heavy snow like there's different types of snow there's light fluffy pretty snow that you think of about on Christmas time there's heavy slushy snow and that's pretty much what this stuff is it's just heavy and wet and when you try to shovel it you're gonna break your back because it's not easy to move it's just really really heavy snow and that's what we had about a week ago and half of my driveway, like, melted within a day. But the other half, I don't know if the sun just doesn't get to it. And I, I mean, I shoveled my best, but it's so heavy, you're going to break your back. Like, this is the type of snow that you hear about people with back pains, is that wet, heavy snow that does it. So, we, 
I got our cars out. You know, we did what we had to do for the cars. But like all the extra space that we have up there, we didn't really do much with that snow because I didn't feel like killing my back. So it's been slowly melting, slowly melting. Hello, Ramon. How are you? And so we were almost at that point and they said, oh, the rest of this whole next week's going to be 40. It's going to be 160 degree day. I'm like, yes, thank you. And then today came and it was that wet, heavy snow. And I had no idea. Missed you guys too. And I had no idea we were going to get the snow. I was at a friend's house yesterday. We played games like Clue and Perfection, which was so much fun. And got home, and they said before we left, oh, we're, they're calling for snow. I'm like, really? I didn't hear anything about that. I woke up, I want to say 2 or 3 in the morning. Yes, you too. And I looked out the window, and it's that heavy, you could see it. Like, it had just started. You could, you could barely see the road. I'm like, oh, this is going to be great. And then when I woke up later on, around... I'd say 8, but with daylight savings time, it was actually 9 o'clock. And um, it was just heavy, heavy snow. I'm like, oh, great, that's going to be fun. So we um, shoveled up some of it, but it's going to be such a mess. Oh, God, I don't even want to think about what it's going to be like getting to work tomorrow. Well, the roads were clear because I went to the grocery store. It's my driveway. That's going to be a problem. But because my driveway is like a mile long. And I don't have a plow, and it's too heavy to... The, the guy next door has a snowblower, but this isn't, like, the kind of snow you can actually use that for. It's just back-breaking labor, and I was like, I can't deal with this right now. <sighs> so that's the other reason why I'm tired between that and daylight savings time. It kills you. Oh, man! Mother Nature has not been kind to us! And I think that groundhog lied ever so slightly. Because ever it's like the first time... I, I feel like this is the first time I'm like, oh yeah, early spring, yes. And I feel like we've gotten triple the snow because he said that. That little liar. Although I guess I would lie too if somebody pulled me out of my home when I was in a deep sleep to ask me what the weather was like. So I kind of get it. And I can never... I know he's named after the town he's from and I can never pronounce it. I think it's Puxatani Phil. I can never pronounce his name. You know what I'm talking about. The little, the cute little fuzzy hedgehog. Not hedgehog. Groundhog. My God. My friend's hedgehog passed away and she's on a wait list for a new hedgehog. So that's why I got hedgehog on the brain. I feel bad. He was so cute, this little fuzz ball. He was like, they weren't, it wasn't that big. I think he was a pygmy and it was like different types of hedgehogs. But hers was like that big, but he died of old age. And so she's sad and she's waiting on a waiting list to get another hedgehog. I didn't realize there was waiting lists for hedgehogs, but apparently there are. And he was really cute, so I feel bad. Anytime somebody loses a pet, I feel sad. Um, what else is going on more recently? Not a heck of a lot. Um, like I said, I've been, now that I'm feeling better, I'm trying to catch up on filming all those outfits that I promised you guys from all the beautiful gifts you guys sent me. I'm truly blown away and I have this one I'm really looking forward to doing this one video um it probably won't realistically because I want to give it the time that I, I really want to put the time into it because it's going to be one of those videos I was sent um a garter belt yeah I think yeah yeah garter belt that holds the stockings up I feel like I'm using the wrong terminology but I'm pretty positive that's what you call them when I think of garter belt, for some reason, I think of that thing that, like, the brides wear, that little, like, foo-foo thing. That's a garter. Right? Is it the same thing? Wow. I would Google it, but I'm filming with you guys right now. But anyway, I'm pretty sure it's, it's yeah, it's a garter belt. What is wrong with me? Okay. But I was sent a garter belt, and a few of you have sent me different pairs of um, stockings to go with it. So I'm really excited to film that. This garter belt is made beautifully. I had one years ago, but it was definitely cheaply made, and it never worked when I tried using it. I couldn't get it to work at all. It Don't ask. It was just really cheaply made, and it wasn't made properly, so it didn't hold the stockings up like it should have. This one's made absolutely stunningly, and I was sent some beautiful stockings to go with it, and a few of you have also sent me the knee-high stockings to go with it. Knee-high? Yeah, thigh-highs. Whatever. You know what I mean. 
But um, I'm really looking forward to doing that video. I'm trying to figure out how to film. I might do the garters on the outside of like a short skirt so that we can see it. I haven't really figured it out yet um, to show how it works and so like because it, it's beautifully made and I don't want to get demonetized either for it. I got to figure out how to do this tastefully, um, but still do because I feel like not a lot of people, I feel like in today's world, you don't really see that. Oh yeah, I wear skirts, long skirts year round. Um, especially for work, because it just seems like a really, a long black skirt or a, a maxi skirt is just like such a staple to have, especially in an office, because it's professional, and if you accessorize it right, it can look very, very, um, it's got a very beautiful look to it. I've seen people screw it up as well, if you don't know how to put the, but I've seen that with any outfit. But a long classic skirt can look absolutely stunning with the right accessories and the right tops. It can look beautiful. I love wearing them with a nice blazer and a beautiful top underneath, typically with a little bit of sparkle, because you know your girl here. Um, love that look. But anyway, um, so yeah, I feel like that the garter belt thing has kind of gone wayside, that it's more younger generations really don't wear them, like in office settings or even like to wear, like everyday wear. I feel like they're more seen as lingerie. Not today. Um, just I came back from the grocery store, so I just have on my lobster socks. Keeping it relaxed today. My lobster sockies. Um, after my shower and everything like that. But uh, I feel like that the garter belts and the stockings that go with them, pretty much most people today feel like that that's more of a um. Like I said, a lingerie thing, something that doesn't leave the bedroom necessarily, and I don't agree with that. I think that, um, you know, it adds a level of sexuality, it adds a level of, it just brings something else to a look, not just the hosiery itself. Um, it's just something about that look. I mean, look at the classic pinups from decades ago when they had on, it just, I love that look. And I think that's why I always liked garter belts as well. And so to get this beautiful one, I can't wait to do the review for you guys. I really can't. One of you wonderful subscribers sent it to me. And I'm so excited to do the review. Uh, I can't wait. I can't wait. So if you are watching, thank you so much. Um, there are, are some beautiful stockings that were sent with it as well. I can't wait to try them on. It's adorable. I really wish they would too. I, um, I don't understand why women got away from wearing hosiery in the first place. I, I don't. Like I said, you guys know... And I know a lot of people think it's extremely odd. Oh, you did it. That's right. And I thank you so much for it. I'm so excited to do the review on it. Because, um, like, I'll see girls, whether at work or, you know, anywhere as far as, like, going out or people on Facebook, anywhere. Even, like, with prom. The girls do not wear hosiery at all. I did. Um, but I've literally been wearing hosiery since I was a little girl. <laughs> Thank you. Um, but I've, I've always had, like, even since I was a little girl, my mother had me, my mother wears them too, religiously. She wears them every day as well. And that's where I got it from. My grandmother was the same way. Uh, I Maybe it's because my grandparents were from Europe, so my grandmother was very much European style. My, my mother is too. She's a mix between European and urban fashion, if that makes sense. She definitely has more of a European influence, because European and American fashion are, are pretty different, um, if you know what I'm talking about, or I mean, you can always just look it up. They, they do tend to dress a little bit differently than Americans do. And I think that's where it had always come from. Even as a little girl, I always had on, there's pictures of me in um, so I posted a picture, I think, last year on Instagram. That is true. Women do prefer tanning. I, I can't tan. And even if I could, I don't. The risks of it are not worth it at all. But Michelle just burns and turns back to this. And, um, yeah, just not good. But, um, I don't know. It's just like in the summertime, I like the way they feel. Because no matter what pattern I use, when you're a girl that doesn't have a, a thigh gap, <laughs> like I don't, um, 
the chafing and stuff, there's no powder on this planet that's going to stop that. And if you want to wear something shorter than a Bermuda short, then you're going to have to do something about it. And um, in my opinion, pantyhose are like the next best option because it, it looks like you're wearing bare legs, depending on which ones you wear. They feel great on. It's a win. I mean, normal, the only time you'll see me not wearing them in the summer is if I plan on walking on the beach. And at that point, I'll wear something different underneath. If I'm not wearing a Bermuda shore, I might just, I have taken pantyhose and cut them off like at a certain length so I don't have to worry about chafing. Um, if I plan on just walking like in the water, I'll, I can, I know I'll walk up to my knees if I'm in clothes, if I'm not wearing a bathing suit, but, um, it's, I don't know why it went wayside because it's just the benefits of it. They make your legs look better. I mean, I've seen spray ons like in places like Walgreens and stuff where it's supposed to look like pantyhose. That looks like more work to me because you got to get an even spray on your legs to get this look that you could have just gotten by putting on a pair of pantyhose. So I don't really understand why I went away from it. Um, and normally when I talk to other women about it, they just don't like them for whatever reason. I don't understand it. Um, I don't. But I guess maybe it's seen as an old thing and it's not really, um, I don't know. But then again, I love old fashioned to begin with. I love the old fashioned from like the 50s, 60s and even the 40s and the 20s. So maybe that's why I tend to like the hosiery more, but I honestly feel weird when I don't wear them. And I, I, I'll i be honest with you, maybe a little bit embarrassing, but there's times like I wear them to the gym, like I'll change at work and I won't take my hosieries off. I'll just put on my workout pants, my socks and my sneakers and everything and, and work out. And I've worked out in them as well, just because I, I like the way they feel on. I don't know. And there's certain ones like tights have a different feel than pantyhose for those of you who do wear them as well. So you know what I'm talking about. It just feels nice. Mm -hmm. I love tights. Um, like I said, for me, it was just when in the summertime, it's just for a chafing thing for me. Do you wear Havanias? Those are the flip-flop thingies. I don't have a pair of them. I know people rave about them, but no, I, I don't have a pair of those. I think my biggest name brand flip-flop would probably be Juicy Couture. I think that's pretty much it. I have old Playboy ones from the early 2000s, though. <laughs> I don't know if that's considered like a, a brand anymore. I keep them because I think they're adorable. I have them in black, I have them in white. The white ones, I need to figure out because they've gotten really dingy, the white ones. I need to figure out how to brighten them back up again. I've heard toothpaste, but I'm a little scared to put toothpaste on them. No, I don't have a pair of Havanas. I think I pronounced that right. I recognize the name, but I, I'm not good with the pronunciation. Yeah, I have seen them before. They come in all kinds of colors. And um, I have seen them before, but I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing them properly. I apologize. But yeah, so I, uh, I'm glad that you guys enjoy the hosiery videos. And I thank you all so much for sending me such beautiful... You've sent me a bunch of brands I've never tried before. And they are amazing. Oh, thank you. Like, um, one of a couple... One or two of you sent me these ones called Pivets. And, oh, thanks. I think they're called Pivet Hosiery. I know one of you told me that they were the ones that the girls in Hooters wear. And they are super comfortable. They're really, really made amazing. Really good. So whoever made that recommendation, thank you so much. He's doing okay. Um, unfortunately, it looks like they're shutting down the place that he works at they got about a month left and they're not going to be job placing them unfortunately um so he's bummed about that and I am too because I know he really liked it but yeah he's been okay he's been doing good but um, I haven't seen him this week he, he, he normally calls me almost every day 
it depends on what he's got going on in his hands, friends or something like that. But he, he calls me fairly regularly if we don't see each other, which is pretty darn awesome. He's good. He's a good guy. We haven't played video games in a while, though. I missed that. I played the Nintendo Switch. This is like my second time playing it. But, um, we played a chance with my friend's house for the first time yesterday. Oh, it's okay. It happens. Um, he had an inclination that this was going to happen because they had opened up another store not far from where he was and hired all these new people. So he had an inclination that this was a possibility. It wasn't an entire shock for him. I guess the shock was the not being placed in the new, the new facility, um, which really stinks. But... You know, when one door closes, another one opens. He's extremely intelligent, and he's a go-getter. I know he'll find something better. Um, but he is, you know, it's a little sad. But he'll do good, and I know he will. He always does. But I do feel bad. Especially, like, where we live, this area, as far as jobs, it's very, very difficult. If you lose your job around here, it can be catastrophic. Um, it's not easy to find a decent job. And, um, yeah, sure. Um, I got Instagram, I got my Facebook page. You can contact me however you'd like. And, um, where were we going? I just lost train of thought. Yeah, in this area, if you lose your job, it, it's not good. And, uh, I mean, like, there's lots of, like, I want to say entry-level jobs, but those jobs are pretty much like places like McDonald's. There's nothing wrong with working for those companies, but those tend to be jobs that are, like, stepping stone jobs. And normally for teenagers, they hire a lot of kids. So when you're older and you're established and you're in a certain type of career, to lose that, um, it would be very, very difficult. Hi, Mike. How are you? Um, so it's, it's hard when... There's hardly any work in the area. I mean, I'm lucky I got the career I wanted. Um, but I do know that the area that we live in, it's hard for a lot of people. And I don't take what I got for granted. Wow, it's been an hour already? Holy cow. Um, but yeah, I don't take that for granted. Um, I know what it's like to struggle looking for work, and um, it stinks. It really does. So, but I know he'll 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 do good. Like I said, a lot of I don't know anybody in the area that I live in that doesn't have to travel a minimum of fifteen to twenty minutes to go to work. It's twenty minutes is like the norm. I know many of us travel over forty five minutes because there's nothing where we live, and it stinks. It really does stink, but. It's a problem. I don't know. At some point, I really do need to think about where I'd like to live. But it's like, every area has its pluses and its minuses. And I wonder... Oh, you do? We'll definitely be doing more... Um, shoe videos. I haven't really done that many guys because like you've seen all of my shoes already. I mean I, I mean, I got those two new pair that you guys were so kind to send. Um, I got that beautiful sparkly pair and I wore the Blackbird Galicious that was sent to me. Actually I, I wore them out yesterday. I went to see my friend because it was warm enough that I could wear a sandal and then today it snows. Just insane. I do need to get some more shoes. Um, there's some really cool ones on my wishlist. I got a payday's coming up this week, so I think I may treat myself because there's one or two pairs where it's like, yes, girl, you need those in your life. It just, I went to go purchase some yesterday off of there, and I was like, I couldn't decide what I wanted. I can be very bad. Like, I'll put things, same with my eBay wishlist. I have one on eBay and one on Amazon. Like, I put things in there, and then, like, because I'm so indecisive at times over which one I want, that they sit there for like a month before I pick out what I want. But that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. 
But I will do another shoe video. It's been forever since I've done one for you guys, and I know that. But, um. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I just posted my troll videos recently, and I do have another um, toy video coming up shortly. I do want to do, and I'm not sure how interested you guys would be in. I did years ago. I did a how to clean a troll hair doll video. Um, and I cleaned two little trolls. So I have the trolls here. Okay. So if you guys watched my troll video, you know that these little guys are pretty disgusting. They're adorable. But they definitely are in need of baths. One of them is like chewed up. Yeah, this is Mr. Was Eaten by a Mousy. And being, as you guys know, I'm germaphobic. That being said, when I was holding said little mouser chew toy, I almost had an out-of-body experience. They knew they need to be clean, but then that was just a whole new level of disgust. So um, I want to do another clean your troll video. I do not know if um, you guys would be interested in me doing a live video of this. I may do it anyway. Just because I know a lot of you do like the troll videos. Um, but yeah, I love my guys. I may do an updated troll collection video. I don't know if you guys feel about that. I know I talked about that to one of you. No, not always, Starman. It depends on if we're going out or what we're doing. Um, sometimes it's just yoga pants if we're just staying at my place and playing video games. Um... If we're going out shopping, we'll sometimes go to the mall. There's been times where I would have worn them there. Um, I know he went crazy. The one day I drove him crazy. There was this store in the one mall we walked by and had this beautiful... I still have the skirt. It's this beautiful coral colored skirt. And I was like, I need to go try that skirt on like right now. And I ended up buying it. But he was like, Michelle, come on. I don't want to be like... I brought him to like one of the biggest teeny bopper stores in that mall. It was like... A, it wasn't like a well, Charlotte Russo, but I have it. it was like a Charlotte Russo, but it was like a local one. I don't remember the name of it, to be honest with you. But they went out of business, and I absolutely loved them. Oh, yeah. I would definitely wear those. I got a few sparkle pairs now, but the, the one pair that was sent, oh my gosh. The stuff that you guys have sent has been beautiful you guys are way too kind to me you really are like I, said, I have a few outfits picked out for the sparkle pair i can't wait to wear with um every time i wanted to go wear the shoes that you guys have sent like i got that i wore the fur because it was actually beautiful yesterday but when i go to like wear my fancy ones like that oh hello yes, i recognize you lily lilu and, um, yeah, every time I go to wear them, this time of year is always so weird where I live. And, um, it's, it comes and it goes. Oh, okay, cool. Wow, we got people from all over the place on here today. Oh, we can do that. Yes, I like those sparkle ones a lot. They are so pretty. Like, I remember when I put them on my wish, I was like, okay, I'll, because, like I said, I don't want to put things on my wishes, and then, like, a few months later, I'll end up buying them. And I was like, oh, okay, so I'll pick these up, like, I forgot what the time frame was, but then, like, I found other shoes, and I couldn't decide. And then they came in the mail, and oh my gosh, they are so breathtaking. Here, let me get them and show you guys. Oh my gosh, my legs, my leggies, getting old. I know you've seen them, I know you've seen the video that I did with them, and they are so beautiful. Like, the picture actually didn't do this shoe justice. Oh, the lighting in here isn't doing it justice either. Lost their little hanger. But they really are so pretty in person. So thank you for sending this over. I'm wearing skinny jeans. There's no way I can show my calves in these things. And they actually have a really nice pad in there too. I don't know if you can see that, which definitely helps. Um, absolutely love these. And they fit like a dream. Sometimes these open-toed shoes can 
be a little on the painful side, but um, these ones were not because my Simply Vera ones, the black ones that I wore for my Christmas party, I love them and they're absolutely adorable, but the open toe hurts so bad. I don't know why some open toes hurt and others don't. This one does not. And I absolutely adore this shoe. It's so pretty. So thank you. I could do an unboxing right now, but I wouldn't be able to try them on, not here. The problem is when I do the unboxings, I like to put the camera down so that you can see me trying them on. And I can't really do that with my iPhone live. I'd rather just do those videos, um, whatchamacallit, I'll film those videos later and um, so they can get the attention they deserve. Because um, I, I know you guys like those try-ons while I'm doing the unboxings. And I've done that with, like I said, um, mics I have to finish because I ran out of memory and there was another item that was sent. But like I said, I do want to do like the try on and stuff like that so that we can appreciate them more. Instead of just holding up the packaging, I really don't want to um, like take that away. Um, but I normal, it's just hard. I got to get something I can hold my iPhone so I can do live because I literally have you stuck in my regular tripod, which takes me forever to get the phone stuck in there. And then trying to get unstuck is such a pain um, to be nice. But I need to figure out, I know that they make things that can hold your phone, but I see them for cars. I don't know if they actually have something that isn't like a selfie stick that I can put the phone in and actually like do live videos like on a tripod. I gotta look that up. I will have to do that when we're done filming. Maybe I'll go on Amazon and check that out. I got so much to do this afternoon. Oh Lord. I have a habit of wearing myself out very thin and doing five million things at once and over. I've been getting back into adult coloring, those adult coloring books. I have one that I use at work in between, well, on my lunches. I put some on my wish list that I'm going to pick up a couple. So I got, you guys have seen this one. The problem with it is it's so pretty. I don't, I mean, they're one-sided. I think most of them are. I hope. Not all of them are one-sided. But the pictures are so pretty that I don't want to destroy some of them. I, like, I feel like coloring them would destroy it. Like, here's got little flip-flops. This one. I got it because of the anchor on the cover. The anchor's away. This one's cool. This is a map. Take me to the beach. Like, I want to color a lot of these in and frame them. Like my dream one day is to have a house on the water. That's my dream. I like to have like, some of them are colored that came like that. I know I felt the same way. The first book I have was a Christmas tree book. And I like how, see, I want to frame some of the ones in this book like this. And I started paint, um, coloring those cause they were one sided. I mean, I can make copies of these at work because there's a copy machine. And I like how they have perforated edges so that you can um, frame them. And this one has like a color guide if you want. <coughs> Honestly, before I got into the adult ones, I bought some kitty ones and I started with those with just some crayons. But I've gotten onto these. Look at this one. The ocean is calling. The mermaid tail. Some of the pictures are so pretty. There's a lot of flip-flop ones in there. Maybe I should color them in like, I don't know, put them on Patreon or something. I don't know. Pretty. On beach time. These are just so cool. And there's sayings on the back of them, which I really, really love. Different sayings about the beach and the love for the ocean, which is so awesome. May your joys be as deep as the ocean, your sorrows as light as its foam. Like, Every time I'm at the ocean, it calls me. I feel like Moana. <laughs> at sea, I learned how little a person needs, not how much. And that's by Robin Lee Graham. Another view. You know my love for anchors. I live for anchors. Here's a beautiful mermaid. Love her. 
You can never cross the ocean unless you have the courage to lose sight of the shore. That is very true. I love this. I think I love the rain because I am a mermaid who lives too far from the ocean. It doesn't say who said that quote. It's, it's true though. Um, at work, I use my phone to play music. Like most people do, I think, these days. Um, and I have YouTube Red. And I played the one day, it was thunderstorm. It was like nine hours of thunderstorm music. I love that stuff. It's like so relaxing. If you could write a story, what would it be? I actually, I actually did write books and poetry. Um, I was a huge poet or did a lot of poetry. I even got published when I was a teenager and in my early 20s. I actually... I would say I was about 10 years old when I came up with the idea. <clears throat> I came up with this idea of making a chapter book for younger children because I loved reading so much. Okay. Um, I loved reading so much that I wanted to create chapter books for younger audiences that weren't having like that kind of that didn't really have those thick kind of books yet. They were just still picture books. So what I really came up with pretty much is a book style, kind of like a graphic novel really is what it was. And the character I created was called um, Hug. And he was a little cat and he had his little kitten friends and like all his little animal friends and he would go on adventures and stuff and things that would pertain to kids at that age. And I think I wrote two books. There was a book where Hugs was younger and then when Hugs got older and was in high school and then proceeds to college. But um, it didn't really get much further than that as far as um, book writing went. Because I could do children's books as far as like an, a more adult book with more detail. Oh, sorry guys, I'm just tired. Um, because I have a friend that writes beautifully. Um, she's been published. She's published a couple books. And the detail that she puts into it is incredible. Where as I don't have that sight with writing in detail like that. I'm more. I'm, in the type of work I'm used to. It's more straightforward to the point. You know. Kind of writing. Um, I still do poetry once in a while though. I'm still good at that. But to write an actual story. It would definitely. If I had to be truthful, my passion being the ocean, the water, it would definitely have to be some kind of water theme or like living by the water or even, you know, like a mermaid story of some sort is probably where I would enter something like that as far as writing. I love these books. I'm trying to see if I can find any more really cute um, quotes. Uh, the cure for anything is salt water, sweat, tears, or the sea. It's by Isaac Dineson. That's that's true too. Look at this one with the seahorse. How cute is he? I know you guys are probably bored with me talking about this stuff. Once your feet have touched the warm sun-drenched sand of the seashore, you will never ever be the same. And that's true. Once sand gets in your soul, it's there forever. Oh, here's a John F. Kennedy quote, which he his family is big in Cape Cod. Um, Martha's Vineyard was their go-to place but when you go to the cape there's a lot of you'll see there's a museum in highness um cape cod massachusetts so they are very proud of the kennedys and this is a kennedy quote we are tied to the ocean and when we go back to the sea whether it is to sail or to watch we are going back from whence we came beautiful there's something about the ocean that i don't know it's like I said, once you get that salt water and sand in your soul, it's there forever. Like I've been to lakes because there's lots of lakes where I'm where I am, and it's not the same. It's nice, it is nice, but if I had the choice between being by a lake and being by an ocean, I will pick the ocean every day. One day I want to have my little house not far from the ocean, where I can just walk out to the beach and. How awesome would that be? Film outfits of the day on the beach. Oh, maybe one day, guys, we'll make that dream come true. <laughs> yeah, 
to do a GoFundMe to get a <laughs> beachfront property. Sorry, that was a joke. That was a joke. But maybe one day, guys, we never know what the future holds. So I think that'd be, it's my goal to eventually, I would love to live in Cape Cod one day. It just, my soul belongs there. It just, I feel at home there. I, I love everything about it. And one day I would like that to be my home base. One day. So, you know, keep working hard and that'll eventually happen, hopefully. Maybe you've got to come down and visit me during the summer. That'd be fun. Do a meet and greet at like the Cape Cod Mall or something like that. <laughs> but um, that's what hard work is for, guys. Keep working towards your goals and your dreams. Hmm. Oh, this is cool. This actually shows you how to like transfer your art onto like canvas bags and stuff from this book. So that's cool. I haven't played with this one yet because I don't want to destroy the pictures, but I could probably make copies of them. Cause I like, like some of the things in the back and stuff like that. I have too many ocean themed things. But I don't really think there's ever such thing as too much. But I like this book a lot. But um, Creative Haven is definitely my favorite. I'm not sure. But yeah, Creative Haven um, is definitely my favorite favorite as far as the adult coloring books for those of you who do have them because they're one-sided and they have perforated edges and they're perfect for framing that's what i'm currently that's the one i have at work i have some on my wish list actually i'm going to go purchase a couple when we're done here because i'm almost done with that book and it's so it really resets like i said between listening to my my thunderstorm music at work i listen to that when i'm on my lunch break and i will do a little bit of coloring on my lunch break too in this book and it just, it really does reset. I normally don't have the time to do that when I'm home anymore. I used to. Between college courses, between YouTube, between household things and everyday life, I don't have the time to do that at home. And normally when I do try to do it at home, I have a chihuahua in my lap trying to lick my face. So not the most relaxing of things, to say the least. But um, I do love doing it on my lunch break. I, um, I'll eat my salad and then I'll go and I'll do my a little bit of coloring. And um, it, it's just great. It's just really fun. Although I get seriously judged about it sometimes. So I won't lie to you about that. I want to find more quotes in here. Like now that I, I forgot about the quotes in this book. And now I'm like I want to read all of them. Anything with the ocean. On the beach you can live in bliss that's by dennis wilson and yes it is true her neck zimmer limitless and immortal the waters are the beginning and end of all things on earth sunshine is my favorite accessory yes very good how are you Here's a going by Sylvia Earle. Every time I slip into the ocean, it's like going home. And that's really what it is for me. Um, the last time, I, I can't tell you how many hours I've spent on the beaches of the Cape. Like, I'll just sit there in the water with sand in between my toes. And it just resets everything. And I can't tell you how amazingly smooth the bottom of your feet are after you've been in that sand and water all day long. Oh my god, it's the best exfoliant ever! I have the softest feet in the freaking world. I do need to go for a pedicure so bad, guys. Oh my goodness. Like, I've been doing it myself, which isn't the same. It's always better when you have somebody else doing it. Oh, great. I'm so glad to hear. But I really need to make time for that. I have a facial coming up in about two weeks. I gotta plan a pedicure at some point. The other time I try to plan one with... One of my friends, it falls through. And it's just not good. I definitely need it, like, badly. I want to do... I bought this stuff that you put on your feet, and it's called baby feet. And it's it's that thing that makes your feet peel, like... It's kind of gross, actually. But it's supposed to make your feet super, super soft. So, 
I had thought about doing a live video while doing that at some point. So next week, wait a minute, is it next week St. Patrick's Day? Maybe that's not good planning to plan something like that on a holiday. Some people, I mean, is that a really huge, okay, maybe not next week, but how about the following week? I plan on doing that like baby foot thing where you, like I said, you put it, that plastic baggie on, it's supposed to make your feet super, super soft. We can talk while we do that. Maybe I'll do a face mask at the same time. We'll do a pamper live video. That sounds like fun. What do you guys think about that? I think we can get down with that. I think we can do that. What do you guys think? I think that's what we'll aim to do. We'll do a pamper video. We'll do a face mask. And I'll do that foot. Um, I think they call it baby feet. I think it's. I want to say it was originally a Korean beauty product where you would put this plastic bag or whatever is in it on your feet and then over a week or two's time it peels like off all this nasty callousy skin. A friend of mine did it like a year ago and she said it was the most amazing experience ever. Okay, awesome. So next week St. Patrick's Day and I don't want anybody who's celebrating to miss out. So we'll do it the following week. I think that sounds good. I don't have my agenda. But I will write that down so that we make sure that we do. Because I have a ton of different face masks that I've been wanting to use. Like, you know, the little fabric ones you just plop on your face. And, you know, everyone looks like a unicorn. That's actually like a David Bowie unicorn. It's really awesome looking. And there's a few other ones that I have. And I've been wanting to do that. We need to do that. We're going to start doing that, I think, once a week. We're going to do a live pamper video. I think that'll be fun. We'll, like, we'll do the face mask. We'll do the wine. And we'll just sit and talk. I love just sitting and talking with you guys. That's why I miss doing these live videos for the past couple of weeks since I was sick. But I think we're going to do that. I'm definitely going to do it. We're not going to do it next week because of the Pat St. Patrick's Day. We'll do it the following week. All right. Is St. Patrick's Day celebrated in other places of the world? I know that, I know like the Americans do the corned beef and cabbage, but I know that's not traditional Irish food. From what I was told that they normally is like a pork or a ham that they kind of do in Ireland. Yeah, I know I, the Irish are definitely going to celebrate the passion. I don't know if it's something that's worldwide, that people do worldwide. I guess it doesn't matter. Like, if you're Irish, why not? Okay, that'd be cool. Because that's something I've been contemplating for quite some time, was to do that baby foot video and then do updates with it. Because I know other YouTubers have done that. But, um, I know it's like... So last year, literally, people were doing it like last year. But, you know, that's okay. I think that would be still fun to do. So, okay, not this week, not this coming weekend, but the following weekend, we will do like a pamper live video. Um, I'll get some wine. Maybe I'll even get myself a little treat, but maybe we'll do like little snacks or something like that. Um, and we'll do a face mask and we'll do the, um, the foot thing. That'll be a lot of fun. I'm going to do, you guys have also requested a mukbang or a mukbang at some point as well. Maybe we'll do a live one of those at some point. Um, <clears throat> I know Joe wanted to do a mukbang video at some point. But we really don't eat a lot of junk. Mostly salads and stuff like that, like sauteed vegetables and stuff. I mean, it doesn't really matter. It's food, right? Maybe we'll do something like that at some point. I just got to figure out when. And definitely like maybe a weird food tasting video again. That'd be fun. Something along those lines. We'll definitely be doing that in the future. Yay, guys. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, live spa video. I'm so excited. So the thing that I got you guys sitting on, I'll probably move and I'll just sit my back towards that. Talking to the camera. And I'll have, like, the mask on. Not to angle it in such a way where we get, like, the perfect angle. We'll, we'll get this working. This is going to be a lot of fun. Awesome, guys. I'm so excited now. Yay. And I got so many... More outfit videos coming as well, guys. I've been going through my closet a lot too lately. Because, <clears throat> like, I've lost a little bit of weight, as you guys know, over the past year. Between exercising and trying to eat right and stuff like that. So, I'm, like, in between with a lot of things with my clothes right now. And some things just don't fit the way they used to anymore. And some things are just, like, in C1, C2 tight yet. So, I'm in that in-between phase. But I'm trying so hard not to, like, buy anything yet. But some things are also getting worn out and old, and I need to replace things. So, that's kind of where I'm at right now. I was so bad with being sick 
and the gym, I didn't really go to the gym all that much. I've went a couple times, yes, but in the midst of that huge sinus infection, I didn't. So I feel really guilty about that. And I ate potato chips yesterday. So it made me feel even more guilty because I didn't go to the gym that often. I went like two times this week, which is low for me. But this week is a new week and it'll be a whole lot better, I promise. But um, yeah, I gotta go through my closet. There's a ton of clothes here. Like I remember this one. <clears throat> and I wanna make this work because I remember when I did the outfit of the day with this a few years ago, it was not met with no, th there was more dislikes than likes on this particular one. It's a very long, I think this came from Midnight Velvet. I get it. A lot of people feel that the clothes on there are definitely more of a Blanche Devereaux or a Golden Girls era. But I feel that those fashions can be worn by people of all ages. So it was a gift. But I think that problem is, is that the pants are definitely too matchy-matchy. Some things when you match, I like things that match, don't get me wrong. But if you go too matchy-matchy, it can be... Eh, it's a good, you know what I'm saying? So I think that's what the problem was with this outfit. The pants are way up on top. They're like folded over. But I definitely want to play with that more. I think I can totally make it work. I actually think... I love dusters, and that's what this part is, is a duster. I feel like I can totally make this duster work. I think it might be a little too fancy for work. Um, it's got a lot of beading, as you can see, but it's absolutely stunning. But we'll make that work. My hair is literally hanging off of everything. That's ridiculous. But yeah, so I gotta go through a lot of these. And some of them I'm like hanging on to because I want to see if I can lose a little bit more weight to make it work. My goal this year, guys, you know I've mentioned it to you before, is um I want to get my body to a point where I feel comfortable in bikini this year. Oh, those I hate of, I know it, the one the pantyhose rolls down. What I tend to do, those ones drive me crazy too. I try to, if I can, pin it to my bra. That's, that seems to help. Um, that's really, if, if it, if you can get it up that hard, that high, sometimes you can't. Um, or pin it to like, if, like underneath the arm somewhere that has helped me in the, with that problem, I can't stand it when they roll down. It is a nightmare. It'll instantly put me in a bad mood. There are two things that'll instantly put me into a bad mood fashion wise. Number one, if I'm wearing lip gloss and the wind blows my hair across my lips, instant bad mood right off the bat. Or if my pantyhose keep rolling down. Oh, I hate that so much. That's one of the bad things about pantyhose. But I will try if, because I like, I actually like my pantyhose kind of on the high side. So I sometimes do buy them a size bigger just so I can have that feature. But if they do roll down, I will try to get away to pin it or to like hook it onto my bra. And that helps because I absolutely hate it when it doesn't. Now um, sometimes, although one of my subscribers, love you. I love you all. I really do. But one of my subscribers sent me a pair of, and the video will be up soon if it isn't up already. Um, from my Amazon wishlist, it was by Spanx, and it was a high-waisted tight, and it came literally right up to here. It didn't budge. It felt amazing. Oh, my God. High-waisted tights. I didn't even know they existed. A dream. I, I, I put them on the Amazon wishlist. I must have if he sent them to me. It was amazing. I can't wait to do it. That's the next outfit I plan on doing is with those amazing so if you can find the ones that are high waisted so if they do roll down you can pin that up but i'll tell you the spank ones did not do that for me mm. yeah definitely look them up that was like amazing when i discovered high waisted life-changing you will love them trust me And I have seen that there are brands out there that do have hooks on them that you can hook them to your bra, which is nice too as well. But um, that's what I like to try to do if they're tall enough. When they're not tall enough, then um, yeah, that just bites. Oh, you're welcome, Betsy, anytime. Yeah, I feel the pain, girl. I know it's a struggle. It's a struggle. It stinks. But yeah, the Spank ones were really awesome. So definitely look for high-waisted ones. Awesome. And everything just feels so much better. Um, I, I do not like that the low riders are coming back. Like, when they were around in the 2000s, I wasn't as curved. I've always been 
curvy to an extent. Smallest I've been was a size three. I did get down to a one at my lowest. Um, not by healthy methods, but I always had a little bit too much of a butt for the low rise, even though I would wear them. But because I, even then I was always hippie, it looked like a muffin top. They probably don't even use that terminology anymore, do they? Anyway. So it just never looked right on me because of my body shape. Oh, I can't stand them either. Hate the low rise. Because I have too much of a booty, even if I wanted to try rocking a low rise, half of it's going to be my butt crack hanging out. And we're not whale tailing it. No. No, 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 no. I can't stand They're not comfortable. And even back then, I'll be honest with you, they weren't comfortable. You were always making sure, like, well, oh, is my butt hanging out? Because it 90% of the time was. I just don't like it. it. I don't know. I don't know why it's becoming a thing again. I really don't. Paris Hilton probably made it a thing again. Then it, she was like the queen of low rides back in the day. I mean, she can rock them. She, she can pull it off. I cannot, unfortunately. Nope. This girl's too curvy. Like, it takes a very specific body type to pull that look off. And if you're hippie, it just doesn't look right. Like, I would wear them because of my hips were coming out and then down to the low rise. It just looked like I had fat hanging off of it, which wasn't the case. It's just, it doesn't look right. It just drives me crazy. But, you know, fashion comes and goes. Eventually, they'll bring back the high-waisted pants that I love. They're so much more comfortable. I wish they would bring back bootleg. And I love the flare leg or bell bottoms. They're so flat. I think they're more flattering than... Because I do have one or two pairs of skinny jeans. I'm wearing a pair now. But depending on who makes them, it just looks like I'm a dumpling with two little toothpick legs. It just doesn't look right. And I just don't like that. Exactly, Betsy. That's how I feel about it. Just keep it classy. Oh, thank you. You're too sweet. <clears throat> but yeah, I do prefer the high waist. And I love boot cuts. They're just a classic fit. Man or woman. You can't go wrong with a boot cut jean. I love bell bottoms or flare leg. Whatever you prefer. I think flare leg is actually a smaller bell bottom, to be honest with you. I love that look. You know what I've been really wanting to do? I want, I think I have a black max. I gotta find the dress. But I found this video on how to like do your own tie dye. I have this black dress. If I can find it. I might have donated it. It's possible. But I want to like do a reverse tie dye with it where I just want to take bleach to it and do it that. I think that would look so flippin' cute for summer. But I don't know where it went. I really want to do that. I think that'd be absolutely adorable. I do love tie-dye. It depends on the type of tie-dye, though. Um, I have one or two pieces that are just so darn adorable. And I found this video. I did, like, different types of tie-dye. And I want to take black with the bleach and bleach some stuff out. I want to do that with a pair of jeans, too. I want to get a pair of jeans that are super cheap. I need to go to the Goodwill. That would be a fun video, too, guys. I think we should do that. Get some cheap clothes and do some... DIY things like tie dyes and stuff like that and bleaching out jeans because I think that I know that that's so 80s but I love that stuff yes Betsy we should do that I think we're going to I got to make a special trip because there is an area that has a couple different thrift shops and I would love to do that I want to get a black dress we'll do that tie dye thing with it I want to do some um jeans with some distress and some bleach and stuff and have I think it could be a ton of fun I've been wanting to do that for quite some time now. and Because um, I used to make clothes when I was in high school. A lot of the clothing that I wore in high school, I did make myself. Um, if you guys were on my Instagram and you saw my... And I, the video's on here, too. I did film the video when I was Baby Spice. That dress I made when I was in high school. Is that dress in here? I don't think she's in here. Oh, she is. <clears throat> I actually used to wear it, like, every day. I was that crazy. I liked... Here it is. My thing in high school was to take classic looks like A-line or princess cut dresses, just very basic things, and make them extra, even though that term wasn't a thing yet. Oh, that's awesome. Nice find, Betsy. Okay, so this is just a... Um, 
an empire styled dress pattern that I had and I just bought this pet um this fabric and I made this dress out of it and it's I absolutely adore it so it was my thing to take like classic like classic styles or things that were pretty basic like I would take like a t-shirt pattern and just make it out of a fabric like this I like taking basic things and making them super blingy and that's what I did a lot in high school and I was known for wearing like this is pretty much what I wore was glitter and shimmers and all kinds of metallic fabrics this I got afterwards this I've had since my college days it's seen better days it's actually a costume but um I can't part with it because it's one of those costumes that you can it's supposed to be like Xena warrior princess but I've worn it as so many different other types of costumes it's worked really well and it looks super cute on I love it Oh, thank you. So I've been away from doing, making my own clothes for quite some time. But my mom bought me a sewing machine last year. I had to find a place to put it. And I definitely want to get back into it because I loved making clothes and the fabrics. And now you can buy those mermaid fabrics that change. Okay, it's like $20 a yard, which is super expensive. I think actually more than that. But to make a dress out of that would be my dream i'll wear it every day i'll wear it to work like didn't you wear that yesterday no oh, gosh i got problems <laughs> but yeah i love making clothes and i definitely want to get back into it because it's definitely one of my favorite things because like i look in my closet now and it's like oh, i'm one of those girls like the clothes don't feel like me today. Like, it's weird. I have just, like, my mind's all over the place when it comes to fashion. You guys know. One day I can wear gothic. One day I, like, seen kind of clothes. And then the next day is more pin-up. Like, my style changes. It just depends on my mood at that point. Which is great. Why do you just limit yourself to one style or fashion? This is the dress I wore to my best friend's wedding. Which is a little big on me now. But it's a beautiful dress. This was a Vera Wang. It's such a beautiful dress. Exactly. What makes you happy. Well, like I said, I do got to go through my clothes and um, update my wardrobe. Because a lot of my stuff's wearing out now. Yeah, I can do... I've been getting a lot of requests to do my high heel collection again. We can definitely do that. Um... Like I said, there hasn't been too many new additions lately. Um, I got my two newest additions were from you guys, my lovely subscribers. Um, but I have, I've been having a hard time finding new shoes, to be honest with you. I'm, I'm picky, I'll be honest at that as well. But um, oh, there was a pair I saw at Macy's by International Concepts. Oh my gosh. These shoes were amazing. Expensive, but amazing. I was like, oh, I'll get them for you. I was like, no, I may actually go back and get them because these shoes were to die for guys oh my god it was like there's two different pairs one was like it reminded me of like wall street and the other pair was all like rainbows and mm, amazing so pretty anyway guys i'm gonna get going because um, i gotta do a couple of things before it gets too late but not this coming week but the following week we'll do a live pamper video um I want to do a video, a live video this coming weekend. I don't know the subject yet. So um, leave in the comment section down below what you would like to see next week's live video to be. Whether it's we do a shoe collection, we could do skirt collection, certain dresses, whatever. Um, we'll sit and talk. So I would really enjoy doing that. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you all so much. And again, I'm sorry I've been gone for so long. So that sinus headache was so bad, it, I couldn't see. It blurred my vision. It was nothing against you guys. And I missed you so much. So I'm really glad that we were able to do a live video. Love you guys too so much. And again, thanks for all your support, your love. It truly means the world to me on so many levels. Being able to have so many wonderful friends out there from all over the world. It means so, so much to me. And thank you for all of you who have sent such lovely gifts from my Amazon wish list. Again, I have filmed up a bunch of those videos. See you later, Betsy. Like I said, um, there's um, two more packages. Um, Mike's package I got to finish, which if you're still watching, thank you again so, so much. So, so much. And the other package... 
from what I see, there's no um, label in it from who it's from. So whoever that package is from as well, I thank you also. You guys are too kind and too sweet. I have truly the best subscribers out there. I have all these wonderful friends from all over the place, and you mean the world to me. But anyway, I'm going to get going. I'm going to take care of some things before I have to go back to work tomorrow, and I'm going to be doing training on Wednesday, so i got to catch up on extra things for work as well. But thank you for watching, guys. I will see you this weekend, and you have a safe week. I love you all so, so much. And um, I will talk to you through Instagram, Facebook. You can comment on here. I don't ne necessarily reply to every single comment, but I do read them all. So you can comment on here, and we'll chat. Thank you again for all your love, and I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.